Hello. So today we will continue on the, the exercise 16. OK, so we are going to start by reading the question. Editing competition, there are five. Start. Each team consists of either only boys or only girls. The number of team members are 9, 15, 17, 19 and 21. After all members of the first team have started, the number of girls not started yet is three times the number of boys not started yet. How many members are on the team that has already So. We have five teams. And each team consists of either only boys or only girls. So there is no team consisting of boys and girls. It's only boys or only girls. And the number of members is nine members, 15, 17, 19 and 21 in all teams. So. The first team started playing. The number of girls not started yet is three times the number of boys not started yet. OK, and we know that the first team started of sure. So we are left with four member, four teams. Four teams, they might take four values to their members. How many members are on the team that has already started? So we don't know which team has started, but one of them started and we want to know the number of members that started. 9, 15, 17, 19 or 21. OK, so here they didn't help us more because the number is the same. First of all, we're going whenever we have unknown so there's a comparison between number of girls and number of boys. So of course we're going to use the X. Let us donate X for the number of boys. Usually I use the X for the smallest number. So number of boys is smaller than number of girls. I'm going to denote X by the number of boys. So number of girls is 3X. OK, so at least we can start from something. We, we have, we know that X is the number of boys and 3X is the number of girls because the girls are three times the boys, OK? So what I'm going to do is the following. If I add a 3x to x, I'm going to get 4x, which is the number of players didn't play. Or I'm going to say didn't start okay so now i'm going to change the color and if i added all these values i'm going to get the total number of players so of course 21 plus 19 9 and 1 10 so 40 or uh, 50, 57, 67 plus 5, 72 plus 9, 81. So in total, I have 81 players. OK, so now in order to solve this problem, we have two algorithms. 
we can try each value or we can think. I'm going to start with thinking. So if the 4x is the number of players left, for example, so the number will be divisible by 4. Let's suppose, first of all, the first team consists of 9 players. So 81 minus 9 will be 72. Eighty one minus fifteen will be seventy one and minus five sixty six. Minus seventeen sixty four minus nineteen sixty two. And minus 21 which is 60. okay so mathematically first of all i can start with the number that are divisible with four so 72 66 64 62 and 60. 60 is divisible with four 62 is not 64 is divisible and 66 is not, 72 is divisible with 4. Now, I got three values I can test only from three results. So A, C, and E. Now, if I suppose that nine members in the first team so the other teams consist of 72 or 64 or 60 we can start by solving the equation for x so if 4x is equal to 72 I can divide it directly and say that x is equal to 18 because 20 times 4 is equal to 80, so 18 times 4 is 72. Now, let's check 18. Is it in our choice? No, there's no team consists of 18, 1. So we will directly remove it. And we already removed this and this. We are left only with two choices. So, if 17 for the first team, let's solve 4x equal to 64. x will be equal to, first of all, if multiply 4 by 10, we get 40. So we are left with 24, 24, which is uh, 6, so 16. 16, is it in our choices? No, so directly we can remove it. We are left only with 21. We can choose it and we can double check the 21. The next way, no need for going into this, we can test one by one. So, if I suppose that the first team consists of 17, for example, or 15, we didn't remove 15 and 19. So, if it consists of 15, I'm going to minus 81, the total number of players, minus 15, and I'm going to get 66, solve it. 4x equals 66, so or you can try the values. Can I make the sum of uh, three teams equal to three, the sum of one team? We can do it except on 21, but it's better to solve usually math because you will get familiar, more familiar to the problem. Okay, so... 
Mishari, if you have a question, uh, we can repeat if you didn't, if you couldn't watch this. Yeah, Mr. Can you read this question? Yes. So if you want to like start this. reading, suppose you are alone uh, working on it. As you can see, we have a competition. We have five teams waiting to start. Each team consists either only boys or only girls. So I do, uh, there is no mixed team. It's boys or girls. Number of team members uh, are 9, 15, 17, 19, and 21. So each team consists of number, the, uh, any number from them. After all members of the first team have started, the number of girls not started yet, and three times the number of boys not started yet. So directly in math, I look like, uh, on this sentence, and directly I'm going to give X for a specific number. So here I gave X for the number of boys, so number of girls is three times number of boys, so number of girls is three X. And the algorithm I did here is the following X plus 3X is the total number of players didn't play, which is 4X. They didn't start yet. Okay. And the total number, if I added all the number of members, is 81 players. So, first of all, we need to try all the values to get the right answer, but I have 4X the number of players didn't start so directly i look at 4x of course it's divisible by 4 it's clear for us because 4 multiplied with any number is divisible by 4 there's a factor here so directly i searched i subtracted for example the first team supposes it consists of nine members 81 minus 9 i'll get 72 81 minus 15, 66, etc. So I checked which numbers are divisible by 4. I got only 60, 64, and 72. So directly I crossed two numbers and I'm going to try only three choices. So we took D off, we took B off, we are left with A, C, and E. Now, I suppose that the first team consists of nine players, so we have more 72 players didn't start yet. I solved for X, so I'm going to solve for X to find X, the number of boys. I found that the number of boys in the team is equal to 18, but 18 is not in my choice, so of course we are wrong. We took it off. 16. Here, the same uh, thing. 4x equals 64, so x equals 16. 16, we can never find a team of 16 boys, and we don't have 16 in our choice. But the, at the end, 21, we are left with 21, so of course, it's the right answer. We can double check, we can solve it for x equals 60. So simply x equals 15. 15 times 4 is equal to 60. And yes, 15 is in our choice. So we have 15 boys and 45 girls didn't start the game yet. And we have 21 members in the first team. OK. It's a bit confusing. Usually this type of questions keep it to the end. You will solve other questions because they are easier. And then when you have more time. Focus and find the best algorithm you can do. Now let's move on. We have 17, okay. which is easy. You can start reading the question. Five cards. Participated. participated in a race starting the order shown. Whenever a car overtake another car, a point was awarded. The cars reached the finish line 
in the following order. What's the smallest number of points in total that could have been awarded? Okay, so as you can see, for example, car one started uh, at the la at the end last sorry, and now it finished uh, in the third rank. So, for example, they want uh, the least number of points. So, of course, it didn't win. Then it is in the third position. We need to move it directly to the third uh, position, etc. So, what the algorithm? you are going to use? Uh, I don't know what you mean. OK, so each time the car moves to different rank, we are yeah, going to add point. one point. Yeah, so the first one has two points. OK, for me, I don't prefer to start from the last one. Usually, I use this figure and search from the first rank to the last rank, usually three of them, and the rest will be in order because I want the least number. So you can see here, yes, two. I'm going to take two to the beginning. Oh, OK, okay. got my point. So if yeah. you cut two, it will three. pass through three. It will pass through yeah. four, it will pass through five. So now I'm talking about three points. And we can remove two. It's already the first car. Yes. Right? Yeah. And so on. Continue. Then the second one is just the same, so it's zero. It will stay the same, but remember when this one is the first, number five is the second, number three, number four, sorry, is the third, not the second. Uh, it's not zero points because she didn't, because the car didn't uh, pass any. No, wait, look, we moved car two to the beginning, to front. Okay, okay. so then it's the, here. It's going to be the third one. So the fourth, number four, is in the third position. We need to make it in the second position. So we are going to move it. So it's going to be one point. Yes, so here we move. Number four, let's cross it out. Let's put it here. I write them down because maybe you will forget about things. So keep everything clear for you. Now, at number two in the first, number four in the second, number one. I need to make it the third. Number one, uh, uh, so. Number one now, right now, is the last one. Yes. So, so it will take uh, two cars. One car, two car. Yes. So, if we didn't cross them out, we will count them, and we will get wrong answer. So, you added two points and you cross two cars. Let's cross it out and yeah. continue. We have number five. It's in the fourth position. Are we going to move it? OK, I will read it slowly. Uh, my result here. The second car is in the first position. Number four is in the second position. The same as down. Number one, in the third position. Number five is in the fourth position, which is the order I want to. Number three, yeah. also in the last position. So we are fine till now. Do you want to make any change? No. 
OK, so how many points I got? We got uh, five points. I six points. Sorry. Six points, yes. So E is the right answer. OK. OK. Let's try it in your way. I don't know if I'm going to get a wrong, a false result, but I'm going to try it. OK. So first of all, you thought to change it randomly or you wanted to start from the end or how? Uh, let's start from the back instead of starting okay. from the front. Try it. So you mean the uh, first uh, drawing or the second one? I mean uh, the second one. OK, yeah. so you want to make card three the last one. Yeah. So you are going to move card two here. And card one, you're going to move it here. As you can see, if we move card two first, we have card three to be here, and then we are going to move card one only one point. Can you yeah. imagine that? Yes. OK, so. Oh, you got two points for making three at the end. I'm going to cross it. I'm going to put it here. OK. OK, let's erase these arrows and continue. Now work. V. Which is five, so yeah. you need to make five. Here. Yeah. Before last. So. I'm One, going to two. Move. It's going to be three. Let's do it from here. Yes. One and two. And three. Because yeah. if we started from here, we're going to skip one car, two car, three car. And then I'm going to skip one, two. And then I'm going to skip one, which is already six, yeah. only for moving one car. Uh, they need number at least one, one. It's just the same. Same. OK, number one will stay the same. V is crossed because V now is here. Yeah. I move three cars. Then, then uh, uh, which is uh, number four. Number four, this one. And yeah, I will need number two to be in one. front. OK, one, so, so it's gonna yes, be on the six, the six. same answer. But as you can see in your way, it's right, but the only problem is you can make a mistake. Yeah. Because if you couldn't imagine these numbers exactly where the car is, you will fall in a mistake and you know. So if you can imagine it right, do whatever you want. OK. OK. Let's move on. This one I like. OK, do you want to start reading? OK. A three by three square. Intentionally has initially the number, initially has the number zero in each of its cell. In one step, all four numbers in one two by two sub square such as the shaded one. For example, are uh, then increased by one. This operation is repeated several times to obtain the arrangement on the right. Unfortunately, some numbers in this arrangement are hidden. What numbers in the square with the question mark? Where's the number? OK, so you can see here we started from zero. We can change only four of them. So for example, if I clicked here, I'm going to add one, 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 one. I can move it so I can do it for these four numbers. I can click here. I'm going to add one, one, one and one and so on. These numbers are hidden. I can't know the uh, actual value of them, but I got 18, 47, 13, and they want to know this one. 
first of all, you will feel like it's strange, but look at it carefully. Look at the, at the number. I have one of them is bigger than these two numbers. So, of course, if I selected these four squares and clicked, I will click only 18 times. I will never click more than 18 because these four squares have the same value as this and more because maybe we are going to choose this one or this one, right? In other words, look at these four. If I click them 18, I'm going to obtain 18, 18 in all squares. These four squares. The next step is the following. I click on another four squares. So for example, these four. How many times can I click on these four squares? 13. Yes, I can't click more because this one should be equal to 13. This one I don't know and I don't care in fact. Okay, yeah. so if I click 13, let's write it. 18 will turn out to be plus 13. Yes. It's going to be 31. 31, great. And 18 also the same, 31. Yeah, but we don't care about the left or well, you need the right. Yes, I'm writing it only for us, Yeah. not for the question. Okay, so now I got 31, but it should be, it must be 47. Yeah. We'll see how much is left. Yes, we'll do the last two you two. can subtract. 47 minus 31 to get 16, 16. right? Yeah, so, so the number is going to be 16. This one? Yeah. Because you are adding 16 on these four squares. Yeah. So if you add 16, you get 47, and this one will be equal to 29. This one will be equal to 16, which is choice C. So, in fact, we gave them all the numbers. So, it's a simple one. Do you have the questions with it or it's clear for you? No, it's very clear. Okay, so we can skip it because it's easy. This one, uh, it's a bit hard, but you, you have the rule concerning number of sides and the angles. Do you remember that? Uh, true. Let's go back to a few lessons back in grade nine. Do okay. you remember the rule where we can relate the number of sides with the measure of angles in any shape? Uh, yes, uh, S A S S S S. You mean no, this? no, no. Not proving uh, the congruent triangles. Uh, when we subtract it, so the number of sides is, for example, R. Also, oh, how many degrees do we? We wrote N minus 2, we multiply with 180 degree. Do you remember that? I think so. And so we get the sum of angles in the shape and that was before oh, yeah, the parallelogram yeah, yeah. and then we gave you the parallelogram yeah, yeah i remembered and this is the reason why the parallelogram consists of 360 degrees by using this rule 4 minus yeah. 2 is 2 to multiply with 180 and 360. so usually in these kind of questions they are asking me to the sum of the six marked angles in the picture. So I got angles, I need the sum. The sum of the angles, I know nothing here. I don't have perpendicular okay. angles, I, I don't have nothing. So 
simply yeah, you are going to of course to use this rule show me where to use it uh we have one two three four five four sides let me name the angles and then we can count the sides you are counting these sides one two three four five remember you have six sides you have this one oh, if you this are one looking size as, well. okay yes but six here hundred. they circle the angle that they want so for example they want this angle not okay. the interior one the exterior one this one this one this one all of it all of our exterior yes so this will make small difference but of course you are able to solve that yeah so if you want to find the exterior angles and you got the rule you can't apply it directly so the step here is to create new figures Make this exterior interior. Find the new shapes. Okay. For me, I solved the question by drawing a straight line here. But I'm going to let you think about it. Maybe you are going to find another way. Uh, I don't think there's an other other way because it's, we we don't know the angles. Yes, if we know that we can this, just minus minus one eighty from each one. I chose number four to make the straight line pass here because the maximum angle, the highest one. So what I did the following when I cut it. Sorry for the bad drawing so when i cut it at my straight line look at the angle for before continuing anything in this uh, exercise uh what did the ha what happened in angle four it's it's not it's minus 180 from it yes so i have 180 here because we are dealing with straight line and then we have two parts so yeah i have it's the whole be angle eight. we divided the whole angles to four to three parts okay okay now how many figures do you have how many what? Figures or shapes. We have six. No, no, sh uh, the shapes. Mainly we're going to deal with shape one and shape two. Okay, now I have closed figure. I have specific shapes. I can use the rule to find the sum of the angles inside every shape, right? Mm -hmm. Do it for me for shape one. What should I do? Uh, the first one? Yes, uh, for me, usually I tell everyone to start counting the number of sides because N stands for the number of sides. Four. You have four sides. You can see only four. Uh, oh, oh, one, one, two, two, three, four, five, six. Six? Yeah, with, with the picture frame is like six. He said it's a discounted side. Look, for me, I clearly we know this one. One, two, three, four, and five. Can you see them? Yeah. So only five, not six. On the first shape, there's only yes. five. Yes. 
Yes, yes. Uh, skip that two to the end. Now only the first one. So, yeah. if you want to use the formula, you are going to put n here instead of n. Uh, uh, instead of n, you are going to put five. Subtract from it two. Multiply it with 180 degrees. I'm going to call it as one. The sum of angles of the first shape. Five minus two is clearly three. And three multiplied with 180 is Three times zero zero. Three times eight is twenty-four. And I got two in the hand, three times one, three plus two five. Five hundred forty, sorry. Yes. So the sum of angles here is five hundred forty. Which angles part of four, five, and six? Do you have other angles? The, uh, the top right angle, 90. Yes, of course. Only? Uh, Count them, one, two, three, four, but we have five sides, so of course we're going to deal with five angles. One, two. Oh, there is a, between six and 90, there's an angle. Between what? Here, yeah. Here, yes, and the frame. So, I have two 90s. 90 is equal to 180, right? So, if you want to write them, or we can do it at the end. We know that we have two 90s in this shape, and the sum is 540. So, of course, if we want to take only what we want, we are going to subtract 180. Let's do the same word for shape two. How many sides we have? The shape two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you are saying we have six sides, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six minus two directly is equal to four, multiplied with 100, 80, you can multiply the term or you can. How much? 720. 700. And 20. Yes. OK, now the sum of angles here is equal to 720. Do you have other angles other than the shaded angle? Uh, yes, two more angles, just like the other one. Yes. So you are dealing with two right angles. So simply, we are going to subtract also 180. Let's do it. From the beginning, I'm going to subtract 180 from here. 180 from here, but I'm not going to do the calculations now because we have 180 we're going to add, right? Yes. Which one? Uh, just add them together after minusing. No need for minusing them directly because we are going to add this 180. Okay because I want the whole angles. So 540 minus 180 plus 720 minus 180 yeah. plus 180. Yeah. So I can simply take them all, one of them. Yeah, only minus 180. So I have 720. It's going to be option C. I did it. Yes, let's write it because before plus 540 minus 180. Yes. 
360. And if we add them, we're going to get 20 plus 60, 80, and 300 plus 700, 1000, 1080. Mister, what? Did, why did you add 180? Because I got here 180. Yeah, 180 minus 180. Oh, okay. Okay, so I crossed this 180 with one of them. Not both yes, 180 yes. is one of them. Okay. Okay. So let's move on. Okay, this one will take us more time because, in fact, we are going to try. So there are eight boxes in the strip shown. As you can see, we have a strip here. Numbers in adjacent boxes have some A. So if we added this number with this number, we are going to get A. If we added this number with this number, we are going to get A plus one. And so on till we reach 2021. So what is the value of A? We have five choices and we have uh, strips, eight strips. Uh, two of them are fixed. So in fact, we have six only changing. So 30 simple uh, operation addition. So of course you can do it. Uh, you can try not search for an algorithm to solve it. So how can we start? Uh, it's it said here that A is uh, when divided by two is twenty twenty one. So we can multiply it by two. No, we will not I do mean, that. Do the same. Because uh, here we have the A. Here we have A plus one. A A plus one. So we can multiply simply. We will test each choice. So, for example, suppose A is equal to 40, 41. In order to complete this table, first of all, to get A equal 40, 41, you will do what? You will put here. 20, 21? Uh, no, not 20, 21. Okay. 41, not 42. I'm trying choice A, not choice B. Oh, okay. So, 2020, for example, if we add them, we are going to get 40, 41. Mm -hmm. Let us write it here. And the A plus 1, I'm going to write it. Forty-two. Yes. So, in order to get 4042, we are going here to write which number? 4042 divided by 2, which is 2021. Not divide, subtract it. Uh, I mean, minus. Yes. It's equal. 20. Yes. Uh, 20, uh, 20, right? No, it's clear. 22. Yes. Uh, okay. And so on. Let's move. To get 40, 41, we are going now to add. Look directly. If you want to add something to 2 to get 1. So, of course, you are going to add something starting with 9. Right? Mm -hmm. And if we add something starting with 9 to 2, you are going to get 11. So, 1 and 1 in the hand. So, I'm talking about 30. To get 40, you are going to add 1. And in fact, here we are playing the game by fixing this 20. one. 2019, for example. If we add them, we're going to get 4041. And here to get 4042, you need what? 
I'm going to find the first two, 20, you will find the other two. Yes, Mishari. Yes. 20 what? Uh, oh, tw uh, 23. Yes. This one, I will do it for you. To get 40, 41, we are going to add. First 2018. Of all, yes. And to get 40, 42, we are going to add something consisting of four, first of all. Uh, 2024. Okay, so 24 plus 2021, we are going to get five, four, so no, not yes. 40, 41. Sure. So we will erase everything oh. and take off this choice. Now we are going to suppose this one at the right answer. So we are saying that A is equal to 40, 42. And a plus one is equal to forty forty three. Now, which number we add to two uh, twenty twenty one to get forty forty two? Twenty twenty one. Of course, the same number. And which number we add to 2021 to get 4043? 2022? Yes. And also we're going to add a number to this result to get 4042. 2020. Okay, let's move on. For A1, A plus 1. 4043. Uh, it's, it's going to be 2023. Okay, after that. It's going to be 2019. It's going to be 2024. 2019, 2024. Okay, so I'll refine here. If we added these two, we're not going to get A or we're going to get it now. So uh, if we add them, we're going to get uh, wrong as well. 2045. I think, I think E is the correct answer. Try E. OK, let's try E. I'm going to try it. Usually there's no algorithm, specific algorithm for it, so you only have to try. 40, 45. So down we're going to deal with 40, 46. The first one is going to be 2024. Okay, I'm going to write only the 24. next digits. Okay. Yeah. Now, to get 46, 24, we're going to add to it. 2022. Yes. And to get A, which is 45, we're going to add. It's wrong from now, I can see, but yeah. It's going to be 25. No. 22 plus 23 to get 45. So it's up, down, up. So don't judge yeah. till now. Work to the end. Maybe we're going to reach the final answer. Okay. To get 46, 
we're going to add 23. Okay, and now to get 45. 45. Uh, now we are up. 22. Okay, and to get 46. Uh, to get 46, it's going to be. Wait, 24. Okay, and now if we add the 24 plus 21. Plus 21 is going to be 45. So it's great. It's wrong. What? Uh, what? Do you mean Not wrong? Correct. Oh, we didn't add the one yet? Oh, sorry. It's if we added. The... Yes, yes, correct. sorry. Yeah. It's <laughs> confused first. So the correct answer is E. You will get this value which is right. Okay, so this is the algorithm to solve this question. It's only about trying. Now, if you want to find this, for me, it's a nice problem. Because 60, 75, I got an angle here. So, of course, it's something. Uh, it, it's, it's arranged uh, like you like the it's rules that you know. Yeah. Okay, like, so. Uh, and, and, yes, don't worry about the angles. Uh, we can do it because we will do that at the end. I guarantee to you that we are going to find this angle. Now. This ant starts from C, climbs to A, and then from A goes down uh, to B. So they want us to find the ratio of the length of the ascending and descending path. So we're talking about CA over AB. This one is ascending, this one is descending. Of course, the length consists radical. You took the lesson of trigonometry. You started with sine, cosine. Yeah. OK, so everything we can solve is related. First of all, when you are working on the ascending and descending, usually I have the given of angles, so directly you're going to relate cosine and sine tangent. You are going to use the trigonometry inside this problem. OK? OK, so if you want, for example, to find the cosine of C, it's adjacent over the hypotenuse or the tangent of C. It's adjacent over the opposite. I don't care about the tangent of 60 because it will never take CA. So first of all. Draw the perpendicular and then you are dealing with two triangles, two right okay. triangles. Now you can apply what you know concerning the cosine, sine and tangent, the trigonometric functions. OK, what ideas do you have? Uh, for me, I like to name everything so I can understand you when you have a, a specific choice. OK. Let us find all the angles first before moving. So if this angle is 90, this angle is 60, this angle is what? Uh, this angle is 37.5. Uh, this angle is 37.5, why? Because it's the half of 75. No, it's only a high, it doesn't bisect the angle. Just look at this triangle A, I, C. Oh, okay, okay. So if you add the triangles, if we add the angles, you're going to get 30. 30, 30, 60, 90 triangle. You know the properties for this triangle. 
IC is equal to 1 over 2 AC or AC over 2. And of course, we are dealing here with 90 degrees. So if you don't know the rule, we can find the square of this plus the square of this equal to square of this. And we can relate AC to IC. So I can derive for you the rule if you don't know the ratios. OK, but let's first find everything because we don't have enough time. So tomorrow we will continue the exercise, but let's prepare everything we know. BAI is equal to how much? BAI is equal to uh, which? Let me try this. It's equal to 45. 45, yes. 45. You are adding uh, these angles uh, to complete it, but uh, simply you can look here. It's 75 by 30, so it's equal to 45. Yeah. Now, if these two angles are equal to 45, this angle is what? Which one? A, B, I. A, B, I is 45. No, the angle, uh, sorry, the triangle, all of it. Oh, the triangle. The triangle. Uh, uh, what do you mean the triangle is what? What is the nature of this triangle from looking through the angles? The hypotenuse. The right angle triangle, you mean? It's a right triangle, it's obvious, but 45, 45. We are talking about two angles equal and measure okay so, so this triangle okay. is right isosceles right yeah because i have two equal angles and measure so of course bi the length bi is equal to which length uh, bi is equal to I A. Yes, right. Because it's an isosceles triangle. This is the hypotenuse or the oh, base. Oh yeah, yeah, because the, A, the I, B, I I are the legs. So now we are dealing with right isosceles and 30, 60, 90 triangle, which is so easy to relate and to find the ratio, the right ratio between this path and this path. Always, I want you to remember AC is the hypotenuse of this triangle, and, yeah, and AB BA. is also the hypotenuse in yeah. this triangle. So, if we are going to use the Pythagoras or the cosine or the sine, we are going to use the hypotenuse into these two uh, rules, okay? These two triangles. So, yeah. Uh, what do we want more to prepare our exercise? Of course, let's agree on something. Uh, do you like using cosine sine? Let's use cosine because it's okay. easier. So if we use cosine 60, for 60 example. OK, look. To be honest, in this case, just look at, the, at it before. Make a small plan in your head. If we use sine 60, we are going through the opposite side, which is AI. Mm -hmm. And the sine 45, also we are going through the opposite side, AI. So we are going to find the ratio. We are going to divide. So. If we have AI up and AI down in the numerator and denominator, they are going to cancel each other. So my work will be less. Right? Yeah. If I used cosine 60, for example, it's adjacent IC over the hypotenuse AC. So a lot of work, IC and AC. OK, they are related. It's directly a number. IC over AC, because IC equals to half AC, so half AC over AC 
is equal to half all over. But here also you're going to relate BI with AB. We don't have specific relation between them. We are going to calculate and Pythagoras, so we are going deep. I prefer to use the sign. Yeah, sign 30. Uh, no, it's sign 60. No, sign 60. To work on this side and sign 45 to work on this side. Or maybe you can use the cosine 30, but let's agree on sign. And we will do tomorrow the work, all of it on site. Till today, yes. if you have time, uh, try uh, solving it so we can uh, tomorrow directly work on it. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mister. Have a nice day. Thank you. Good luck.